Parita from Class 8J. Today I am here for thought of the day. My thought of the day is survivors aren't always the strongest. Sometimes they are the smartest, but most of them simplify and the luckiest. By Kanye Ryan. I repeat my thought. Survivors aren't always the strongest. Sometimes they are the smartest, but most of them simplify and the luckiest. Thank you. Thank you, Sanmi. Letter makes words and words make sentences. This all increases our vocabulary. So I call Sia Patel from AJ for word of the day. Good morning. I Sia from class AJ is here for today's word. Today's word of the day is survival, which means to manage to continue or exist in spite of difficult circumstances. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Sia. Communication is an essential weapon to survive in this present era and communication can be improved by our vocabulary. So, and now I call upon Gaur Daga and Kumkum Rajput from Class 8B to enlighten with their words. Good morning everyone. I am Kumkum Rajput and I am Chitha Saga from Class 8B is here to announce your vocabulary. Live on. Succumb. Exist. Possible. Last. Sustain. Get through. Persist. Withstand. Flourish. And your Subsist. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you for having to Poetry is a rhythm of emotions and feelings arranged in strings of words. Here I call upon Nathik Bhandari from class 8th high. सबके वो तो क्लिक नहीं करना है अब नॉर्मल वीडियो चालू रख दो नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग टू मॉर्निंग आई एम प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर आई एम नेकी पटारी फ्रॉम क्लास एट है टुडे हियर विथ एन इंस्पिरेशनल पोयम ऑन सर्वाइवल नेम्ड एस सर्वाइवल ऑफ द फिटेस्ट नाउ लेट द हीरो ऑफ आवर सॉन्ग बी ही हु जेंटल ट्रीट these have a right for to survive and where well they deserve to thrive. And he should have both sense and wit and be possessed with strength and grit. Then strong as proof and holy writ for the survival he is most fit. Give us a man to persevere and possess to his career. And not struggling for the right. When all the mankind against him unite. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Nathik. Every day is important whether it is from past, present, and coming in future. Each day is associated with memories and happiness. So it has its own importance. Now I would like to call Chaitanya from class 8. I will tell us in the day. I am Chaitanya from class 8. I am today I'm here to present history of the day. So let's see what happens on 8th, 28th of April. In the year 1442, King Edward of IV of, of England was, a, was born in France. In the year 1926, American author Harper Lee was born. In the year 1945, Italian dictator Benito Mussolini was executed. In the year 1969, French leader Charles de Gaulle resigned his presidency. In the year 2001, American businessman Dennis Kiko became the first space tourist. He paid a approximately $20 million for the six days trip. In the year 2003, Apple launched iTunes stores. Thank you. Thank you, Jaisanya. We all are global citizens of this globe. So, to keep us updated with the current affairs and happening around us, here we have Jani Desai for News Headlines. Good morning, my name is Jani Desai from Class 80. I am going to update you today's news. International news, Greece to help neighbor Bulgaria after Russia cuts gas supply. Ukraine demolishes monument representing its friendship with Russia. National news, PM Modi to visit Germany, Denmark and France next week. India reports 2,927 new COVID cases, 17.8% rise in daily cases. Of over 86% adult population fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Delhi government to develop over 2,000 classrooms as high-tech digital. Sports news. Yesterday's match was between Gujarat, 
Titans and Sunrises Hyderabad. Gujarat Titans won the match by 5 wickets. Today's match is between Delhi Captains and Kolkata Knight Riders. SUV News. Today there is a match between 6th F and 6th G. Weather News. Today's maximum temperature is 44 degrees Celsius and minimum temperature is 28 degrees Celsius. Thank you. There is always a glimmer in those who has walked through the darkness. With this beautiful quote, a very warm good morning to Vice Principal Sir, my dear colleagues and my all dear assistants sitting here. Students, as you can see, the today's topic for the assembly is survival of the fittest. So let me explain you what this statement means. It is a famous theory developed framed and made by a famous scientist Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is a famous biologist, naturalist and geologist person famous for his research. Now what this theory of Charles Darwin really explained to us? So children, survival of the fittest means in literary terms that how better designed you are for an immediate local and present environment. How do you adapt to the situations? So, many of us, most of the time, misunderstand this concept that fitness means always being strongest. Fitness means always fighting. No. It means people that you think that only the strong will survive. But if you see around you in the nature, even the tiny microbes, which are very, very big, they survive, they exist, they live on. So children, to explain my concept, I have a small presentation for you here on the stage. So I welcome the students of A standard here on the stage. Go, go, bird eye. Chup jao. अरे मैं तो अब अकेला ही सरवाइव कर रहा हूँ मेरे अलावा सारे ब्लैक बर्ड मारे गए मैं तुम्हें कब से यही कहना चाहता था कि हमेशा शक्ति के प्रयोग से जीता नहीं जा सकता कभी कभी शक्ति बुद्धि से बड़ी होती है हमें परिस्थितियों से डरना नहीं चाहिए हमेशा एक ही तरीका आजमाना नहीं चाहिए हमें अपने आप को परिस्थितियों के हिसाब से डाल लेना चाहिए So children, you saw how the bird picked up the red birds and the one green bird which was surviving survived till the last because it hid itself behind the leaves of the tree. So it means to accept the change around you. It means to light the candle of hope when you are in problem. It means to build the quality of self-confidence and self-control in you at the time of circumstances which are very hard and dangerous to face. So, one thing you should remember, always say to yourself, you can do it and I will cross the hurdle in the way to achieve my goals. So, with this thing,
always be positive in your life. Go ahead and achieve your goals. Thank you so much. So I call upon your Kajal Nakadia ma'am for the certificate distribution. I hope hand over the mic to her. Good morning all of you. Children, we have arranged uh, another competition. Uh, English department is very happy to announce that. That is reading challenge competition. Okay, it's actually not a competition, but it's a event which uh, gives you a chance to go through a very good reading experience, wherein you can explore many aspects related to life. Means we, you can uh, go through some, uh, you know, uh, some books which is based on the uh, fact of someone's life, autobiography, biography, and uh, uh, so many books we have just decided. So for six weeks you will be going through this journey and uh, you will explore many things along with you will be uh, enriching your vocabulary also you will uh, increase your general knowledge also so uh, we want maximum participation for that so all the students have to be the part of that event reading challenge so your english teacher will update you about the names of the uh, books okay so if it is available in the library that's fine you can get it uh, issued from Gleaser, otherwise you can buy it also, you can read online also as per your convenience. So the rounds and everything will be updated uh, later on in your class, okay, by your English teacher. Now uh, I would like to announce the names for the 7th and 8th standard calligraphy competition winner students. All these students are present here. Those who were not present when we arranged, I have taken out their uh, certificates. So you just sit there only, even if you are present, uh, you will be given in the classroom. First of all, I would like to announce uh, 7th A standard, 7th A, Krunal. Uh, I would like to invite sir on the stage to felicitate the students. Thank you. 
morning to everyone. And today we are here celebrating the good work put up by all these students. Congratulations to each and every one of you. God bless you. And uh, keep up this good work. So today the topic was survival. Alright. I would uh, recommend one book. And uh, it's a very fantastic book. Robinson Crusoe. Okay, so if possible, go through that book. It will be an amazing kind of an experience for all of you. How did a shipwreck happen and how one person got stranded on an island and throughout that particular period, how did he survive? How did he came up with means and ways of making himself adapt by, by adapting to the changing environment and the challenges which are posed to him? So it's a very fantastic, adventurous kind of a book, if possible, kind of go through it. And survival is all about being smart and being adaptive. How do you reinvent and renovate yourself? Because that is how you are going to grow in life. Challenges will be there, they will be sprung at you, you will be coming across them. But how do you weather the storm? That is the most important aspect. And every moment, every moment you are preparing yourself for another huge challenge which is going to come your way. So never stop being a student. A good student is a good learner, a good observer. And that is how you develop that, this ability of adaptation. That is how we have, you know, we are homo sapiens. Before this human race, they were Neanderthals. They ceased to exist. Why did we are still surviving? Because we are adapting. Corona came, pandemic happened, we still survive. So human race is surviving because of its resilience and adaptability. So it's a very important lesson. And your generation is a pioneer. Why? Because you have started understanding things during the COVID and you have survived that so congratulations to all of you because you have adapted more quickly than others so that is the beauty of adaptation that is how you ensure survival so have a great day thank you and congratulations once again